Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I'll share with you how you can make this cute little pumpkin box using our Stampin' Up's new gift box punch board. So let's get started. We're going to be making the smallest size that's on the chart here, just like with the envelope punch board, if you're familiar with that, um, printed right here on the gift box punch board, our box sizes and the dimensions of the paper that you're going to need. So for this little pumpkin box, we're going to use, again, the smallest size, which is 6 by 6 And um, how to use the gift box board is it has a start line and a diagonal line. So on this one, it's the start line is a smaller S, and the diagonal line is S. So I'm going to line this up to this is the start line. Here's the S. And we're going to score three times. Once um, vertic or vertically, once horizontally, and then we want to come here for the diagonal. And again, it said to use the S, and we come down and punch. I'll probably turn this angle so that my arm's not in the road. And then you always line it up with the start line of the small. And actually, for some reason, I like to punch first. Then I'm going to score down the start line the horizontal line, and then the diagonal line. Turn it a quarter of a turn, line it up to the start mark of the, in this case, the S. One, two, three, and then one more time, because we do it on all four sides. Score, score, and score. Yep, and punch. Okay, so now that's how that's going to look. Then what we want to do is flip it, and this time all we have to do is punch. Line it up to the start line. Punch, quarter of a turn. Punch, turn and punch, and turn and punch. And there's our box, just that easy. It does have a retractable arm, so you know you'll want to pull that out each time. Okay, so we're done with the gift box um, board. Whoops, well not quite yet. Let me bring that back in. Um, so we've punched it this way. If we come in on the back side of it, the punch board will punch out these little connections um, that will allow us to close our, our gift box. So I'm just lining it up with the edges, and again, it's going to make this little hooky thing. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and fold our, our score line. So I went ahead and did it one direction, and now the second direction. And you'll probably want to come through with um, the scoring tool. It is included into the gift box and just give that a nice, you know, give the edges a nice crisp edge. I'm working with pumpkin pie cardstock. Alrighty, so when, and so here's the gift box and we can just simply pinch in those sides and it collapses. So cute! So that's the gift box. But we're going to give it a little something something to make it look like a pumpkin. And so what we're going to use is the dots and stripes decorative mask. And we're going to be using the stripes. And what I want to do is take my stamp and sponge. And I wanted to do, use a darker orange. And so I'm using the um, Tangerine Tango. And what I want to do is I'm going to put the stripes in one direction and then turn my gift box and do the stripes and, you know, do the stripes again so that no matter which way that you look on your gift box, the pumpkin stripes are all going in the same orientation. So I'll pick up a little ink on my sponge. And again, I'll kind of turn this a little bit so you can see it. And I'm going to come in and kind of swoop using my Stampin' Sponge, just kind of bring it in on one side of it. 
maybe pouncing would work good. And I'm staying within this orientation. I don't want to um, I don't want to go outside in the other direction. So I'm staying right down in that middle panel. I'm kind of pouncing the stripes. And kind of keep working that till you get something that looks like that. So I'm just sticking right with that panel. Now I want to turn it and do the other, like we're going to make a T or a cross section. So now I'm going to line up my stripes again. And the same thing. Pick up a little bit of the ink on my Stampin' Sponge and stay right in that middle section. And it's okay if you overlap this where those two um, intersect. That's going to be the bottom. That's no big deal. So you'll just kind of keep working that till you get the the striped coverage that you want. Might not be perfect because I'll I don't want it to take too much time on here. But now you can see we have when we collapse the box back again, we've got our pumpkin stripes going in the right orientation on each side. Now on my sample you'll see this cute little pumpkin face. That's found in the 2014 holiday catalog called Fun Fest Stamp Set. And even though this has a lot of, um, you know, Halloween images, it also has these nice pumpkins. And I just want to show you real quick, you know, how versatile that stamp set is. So this one's definitely Thanksgiving, the same stamp set. Okay, so I have my little smiley face. Fall Fest is a photopolymer stamp set, meaning that it's going to be a clear one. I'm going to use Memento um, Tuxedo Black ink. And because it's photopolymer, I can see exactly where I'm stamping. So, put our little smiley face pumpkin down. So cute and so easy. How fun to make a bunch of these little treat boxes up. Okay, so now again I'm going to collapse all of my, you know, panels in. And the, where we made those little diagonal scores, your paper will just want to collapse in by itself. And those little hook closures are what's gonna keep our box together. You could fill your little treats in there first beforehand and close the top. Now what I did is I wanted to have this little like viney thing on the top of it. So I took my closures and I stood them up just a little bit and just kind of pinched it so that it stands up. And then just grab a strip of, um, oh, scrap green that you have. I think this one's um, wild wasabi maybe. Cut about an eighth of an inch. And I'm taking, again, the, the little scoring tool that comes in it and just um, break down the fibers, kind of treat it like a curling ribbon to loosen those up. Then you can take a pencil or a paintbrush and kind of like this paintbrush because I can get a really, really tight little spiral when I wrap it around. So <laughs> now we have this little um, spiral thing. And you know, at this point, like literally, you can just kind of tuck it in, tuck it in to the top of your box. So kind of got that in there first, coming back, closing it up. And when you're all done, you get something that looks like that. Just too cute and too easy. So um, that's how you can make your little character box, um, little pumpkin, using Stampin' Up's new gift box punch board, as well as the dots and stripes. Um, decorative mask. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and happy crafting. Bye-bye.